All right, so let us continue. This time we go towards the hair and we're gonna use a different technique. Click in the mask, then you click to create a new normal layer and you can rename and you can change the color. It's kind of an indication to help you along the way. The first step is to make a mask around it. I'm gonna do it with the lasso tool. And since we are in a clipping mode, it doesn't matter if you select a piece that is outside the drawing. I'm gonna fill it here and repeat the process. Okay, so now we got the hair on its own layer. We can actually lock the transparency. So now every time we paint something, it's going to affect only this layer. If you don't lock and you paint it, you can actually paint over. So for the hair, we're gonna use the lasso tool to define some shapes here. And this is something really nice to do it because it can be done as well with the mouse. With the lock transparency activated, you got some different choices. You can hit Ctrl U and change the luminosity. You can use the gradient tool, foreground to background, and do something like this. And you can also use the soft brush as we are using as well to do something more, uh, how can we say, defined. Because as you remember, if you enlarge the brush, it scatters. And if you decrease the size, you can get something close to a stroke like the g paint, for example. And it's really cool. We can start shading the darker parts by increasing here the brush and we can also go for each branch of hair so for example you can do something like this and make a shape with your selection you can complete the selection by holding shift and making another selection here to make sure that all the parts are highlighted and now you can increase the size of the brush and go towards the direction you can also do this with your wand tool, for example, if you make the shape with your G pen that is more precise and you can select this area, get your soft brush and go towards the direction. Both ways works. What I'm gonna do here is first do all the shadow and then we can go to the highlights. And as well, you can use the Ctrl Z if you don't like the result of the shape. You can make changes as you go. So what I think we're gonna do is time-lapse everything. This is a technique more focused on repetition. It looks like you are doing, I don't know, uh, anime style, you know? And you can also alternate between hard edges and soft edges. All right, let's do it.
All right, so here it is. This is the, the final version that we have until now. It got a little different from the original, but as you can see, the idea is the same. Making shapes with your lasso and then painting over with your brush. Some places are darker, other places are lighter. And now we are gonna add a white band here. You can do it on its own layer. So we are gonna get a little closer. And the idea is going to be a highlight that goes like a circular shape. It is a normal lasso, as you can see here. This is the settings. And the shape is something like this. I'm gonna do something here. Then we close the gap. It's a variation between points and straight lines, but with the lasso. If it is on a different layer, you can go, for example, to another layer here and put it on overlay or maybe add glow. Then you can have a really bright highlight when you trace over. Something like this. If you do it on the same layer, it's gonna have a, a same effect, but it's not gonna be as bright as it is. Let's do it on a separate layer. So we have more control if you wanna delete some information like this with a hard brush. And we can also make it look brighter. So let's continue here. I'm gonna do something here and on this side as well. I'm trying to get more on the lighter parts but i'm also trying to preserve the the idea of the shape so i'm gonna paint it here and there and now if you go here and paint over just lightly you can make a very bright highlight and you can do it on some parts not all the parts, but some parts. It's really nice. There are some versions. This is only a way to do it. There are many versions for you to do it. You can do the same effect here, but maybe with less intensity. So I'm gonna do something quick here. And then we can highlight, but with a bigger brush to scatter. So if it scatters, it will look less brighter than this part. And if we did it here, gotta do it there as well. Let's take this one. All right, this is the hair. So the next part is going to be the eyes and details. But first, let us add some information for her clothes. I'm gonna click in the mask layer create a new layer and now with the lasso tool we're gonna make a selection here just to have some color and you can fill with the pink bucket and for the eyes i think we are gonna use the same layer this layer that we did just now so i'm gonna get a little closer and we are gonna take these colors to make the mask. I'm also gonna grab the shadow. 